Today we are looking at the Voigtlander 40mm f2.8 Helio. Hi guys, welcome back. Matt Osborne here, back in the studio today after being on location last week. Today we are talking Voigtlander lenses. And maybe as a bit of a poll, if you'd like me to review some of the latest Voigtlander lenses, please hit the like button. And if we get lots of likes on this video, I'll bring you another Voigtlander lens very soon. So my question is, would you like to have a Leica M-mount as small as a Leica Elmar screw mount lens? As seen here on a Leica Barnett camera. If you look at the lens profile of a Leica Elmar, these lenses are tiny. So how cool would it be to have a modern version of a Leica Elmar? Today that is what I have for you, almost. Right, are you ready for the size? Look at that. So today's lens is a Voigtlander Heliar 40mm f2.8 lens. Here I have it mounted on my Leica CL or Minolta CL film camera because this is my smallest Leica like, M-mount camera. So it made sense to have the smallest Leica like, M-mount lens that I own on my smallest Leica like, M-mount camera. Now for any of you that are familiar with this lens, you'll be shouting at me, this lens isn't built for Leica, it's actually built for Sony. That is kind of correct, but I have good news. You can actually also use it on Leica, hence I'm making today's video because on this channel we talk a lot about Leica cameras. So if you believe that this lens is for Sony, you are absolutely correct. But this lens is like M mount, so I can therefore call it a like M mount lens review. Lens number 26. So it's the 26th like M mount lens review. If you look on the top of the lens, you will see it says for VME close focus adapter. Now this lens is special and it is different to an Elmar. Let me just show you the difference. The Leica Elmar is collapsible, the same as the Helia. Let's get it to pull out. So that's full extension on the Helia, full extension on the Elmar to give you an idea of how they look. But there is a difference. On the Leica Elmar 5cm f3.5 lens, it has a built-in helicoid, meaning you can focus your lens by turning it round at the back as seen here. This allows you to focus from say one meter through to infinity. That's how most lenses work. The reason this lens is different is because it doesn't have a helicoid. It is literally just a fixed lens. To use this lens properly, you need to mount it on a helicoid. And that's why this lens is sold with the Sony close focus adapter. It's kind of the pair of items you need to buy to use this lens. You then use this lens on a Sony E-mount camera. So that's what the lens is designed for and that's what the lens is sold as if you go to a shop that sells Voigtlander gear. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So after sharing that information with you, you now probably have a lot of questions for me in terms of why have I got it on a Leica film camera and why do I use it on Leica digital cameras. Stay tuned and I'll try and tell you all you need to know about this lens, including example photos. Before I go any further, I should point out this video is sponsored by Flaghead Photographic and they are the official Voigtland UK distributor. So basically any Voigtlander lenses in the UK, there's a good chance they're coming through Flaghead Photographic. If you're a Sony shooter, keep watching because you can use this lens on your Sony cameras. If you use like an M-mount cameras and you don't mind shooting at infinity, stay tuned. And if you like small lenses such as here, and also if you shoot with any L-mount cameras, that could be the like a CL, the like a SL, the like SL2, like a TL, and even comes like the Panasonic S range and any other L-mount camera. So why is that important? Let me show you. In this format, you can only use this lens at infinity, as mentioned, because it doesn't have the helicoid. I have used the camera in this exact setup and I'll show an example photo later in the video. But the main reason I bought this lens was not for this camera, but for another Leica CL. So as we know, this is a Leica CL film camera and this is a Leica CL digital camera. Now, if you're a regular viewer, cast your mind back to my review of the Seven Artisans close focus adapter. There was no coincidence that I bought that adapter and now I have a lens that works on that adapter. What do I mean by that? I bought the Seven Artisans close focus helicoid adapter because now I can focus the Voigtlander 40mm f2.8 Helio. If I turn the focus helicoid, can you see the lens moving out? And with the lens mounted on this helicoid, I can now use this lens from around 0.3 meters right through to infinity. Whereas on a film camera, I can only use it at infinity. So the brilliant thing is for me, this is designed to use on a Sony helicoid close focus adapter 
but by using it on a L-mount helicoid adapter, now you can use this lens on all your L-mount cameras. And now you have an amazing Helior lens, which are brilliant optical design in terms of they're all really nice and sharp and good contrast. I'll come on to that in a second on Leica cameras. So that was like a really good light bulb moment for me. As soon as I realized this was M mount and I could buy the close focus adapter M to L and I own and use the Leica CL, which many of you know, and many of you also enjoy using. This may be a really nice, super small lens for you if you use your Leica CL and if you use the close focus helicoid. I'll come on to the prices of what you need for the full setup at the end of this video. But let me just show you how small it is. So many of you will have the Leica CL because you like a small camera. Look at that size. And this is a modern off the shelf lens, multi-coated, nice, nice contrast, good sharpness, and it comes that small. To me, that's pretty exciting. And especially useful for things like travel, Okay, let me cover the lens specifications. If you can see on the front of the lens, we've got f22 down to f2.8 with no aperture click. So I guess you could use this for video. As I say, you need to extend the lens to be able to use the lens. So you extend by pulling and then you twist until it locks. Once it locks, you're, you're good to go. Now the lens may look slightly different to how you may have seen the photo if you've ever seen it before and that's because I've taken the lens hood off to show it at its smallest size. The lens hood is a similar design to the Voigtlander 40mm f2 SL lens, early version. Watch my Voigtlander lenses for Nikon video which are the SL lenses and you'll see a similar hood design on the Voigtlander Ultron. So now the lens hood attached, that's how the lens will look kind of off the shelf. And this lens is slightly different, it comes with a metal lens cap which is a screw-in lens cap. So if I screw that on for you. So now we have the lens cap, lens hood, and lens fully extended. If I just take the lens off for a second, you can now see that it's a Leica M bayonet fit lens, which as I say, lets you mount it to your Leica M to L close focus adapter. If I take the lens hood off, you can see it has a filter thread, and this is a 37 mil filter thread. Once I realized it was a 37 mil thread, I then bought a 37 to 39 mil step ring, and then I can add this to the front of the lens, and then I can use all my standard Leica Fit 39 mil filters. So here's the lens now with the 37 to 39 mil step ring. So the step ring kind of doubles as a bit of a lens hood, and then you can easily switch in and out your 39 mil filters. As already mentioned, this is a Heliar design, which is a 10 blade optical formula, and that's five elements in three groups for any of you interested. If you read the advertised lens specifications, it will say that with a Sony close focus adapter, you can focus as close as 0.5 meters. But if you use a Seven Artisans close focus adapter, you can focus as close as 0.4 meters. I had my tape measure out today before the video with my tape measure at the base of the camera to my subject, and it's more or less 40 centimeters which is pretty close and more than close enough for kind of portraits and even shallow depth of field bokeh shots. Stay with me, I'll show you some of those in a second. As already mentioned, this is a full metal collapsible lens design and this is a fixed lens, meaning without a helicoid, you're only going to be able to focus at infinity. So what about the look of this lens? If I bring up a series of photos, it may be easier to show in picture format. So first of all, bokeh. How does the bokeh look on this lens? Here are a few test photos with the Rolly camera modeling for me. And if you shoot the lens at f2.8 and getting close to my subject, you get a really nice foreground background separation. And I think quite pleasing bokeh. In terms of sharpness, if you look at the lettering on the front of the camera, you can see that it's got good sharpness, wide open f2.8, and that's only going to improve when you stop the lens down to say f4, f5.6. And while we're zoomed in on these rolly photos, what about chromatic aberration? You can see in this close-up image that there is some purple fringing, but you can easily remove that in Lightroom. In terms of contrast, I'd say this lens has good contrast and is a contrasty lens. You'll probably see that more in some portrait photos coming up. In terms of lens flare, I was testing the Voigtlander 40mm f2 without the lens hood. You can see that the lens gets the classic rainbow kind of flare pattern if the light hits the lens at certain angles. I tried stopping the lens down to see how it performed for sun stars. These are the results that I got. And the red dots you see in some of the photos is the Leica CL sensor. So it's not an issue with the lens, it's actually the, the camera sensor. 
In terms of close-up photos, here's a close-up of some flowers in the garden to show you can get both foreground and background separation. In terms of vignetting, I thought I'd shoot the lens at various apertures, including quite a lot of sky so you could see the vignetting pattern. So when looking at the photos, maybe take note of both the vignetting, but also the sharpness and the depth of field increasing as we stop the lens down. This is important if you want to shoot the lens on film. So this photo is at f2.8 and it's quite heavy vignetting. This is at f4, still vignetting, f5.6, I would say still vignetting, f8 and f11. Now at f8 and f11, most of the photo front to back is now in focus other than say the first three, three four meters in front of me. So I'd say anything from four to, four to five meters to infinity at around f8 to f11 will be in focus. If we then take that knowledge, I then shot the lens on the Leica CL or Minolta CL film camera. And this is just a boring test photo out on a bike ride. And you can see that in a standard kind of landscape situation, if you use this lens at f8 to f11, you're going to get most of your scene in focus. This lens is only really not suited to close focus subjects if you're shooting on film. If you tend to always shoot subjects at four to five meters to infinity distance away from yourself, this lens would work perfectly on film even without the focus helicoid and this makes for a really compact super lightweight setup if you use something like the Minolta CL as I've shown here or perhaps something like the Voigtlander Besser R3A. Both of these cameras have 40mm built-in frame lines and so they work perfectly when using a 40mm lens. So the test photos I showed you, everything was shot with a Leica CL except the vignette test shots because I wanted to shoot the lens on full frame to show the true vignetting. There's no point trying to show vignetting if you're shooting on a crop center camera because you won't see any vignetting because you're only using the center part of the lens on a crop center camera. So all the test photos are with a crop center like a CL with the close focus helicoid. And then the vignetting test shots where you see more of the sky, those were shot with the like M240 without a focus helicoid. So all those photos are focused at infinity because you have no choice other than to focus at infinity. Okay, now onto portraits. This first series of portraits are like a CL JPEGs, shot as in-camera black and white JPEGs. This is actually a mistake on my part. I tend to always shoot in RAW, but I'd been doing some testing and I would forgot to change the camera from JPEG to RAW. I think the JPEGs give you a basic level of what this lens can do, but to see the true performance of this lens, I would definitely shoot this lens in RAW as I would with any other lens. So now these portraits are shot in RAW and you can see these photos are much sharper and much better contrast, much better tonality as you'd expect if you shoot in RAW. All of these photos are shot with the Leica CL with the Voigtlander 40mm f2.8 lens and then with a Mr Leica Leica CL black and white preset applied. And here is me doing a mirror selfie during a model shoot to remind myself that I was using this lens for these photos so I need to share them with you guys. Just on that note, if you notice the trick on the top of the Leica CL in that photo, I get quite a few questions about Leica photography with flash. So feel free to subscribe and I will make a video on using flash with Leica cameras. That can be the Leica CL, Leica M digital cameras and Leica M film cameras. Okay, so can I recommend the Voigtlander 40mm f2.8 lens to you guys? That is the question. The honest answer is it, it depends on one, how you shoot, two, what you shoot, and three, what you shoot on. So let me just cover these points in reverse order. If you shoot with a Sony E camera, it can be crop sensor or full frame. I highly recommend this lens. If you shoot with an L mount camera, that could be like a CL, like a SL, SL2, TL, Panasonic L mount cameras, or any other L mount cameras. I highly recommend this lens if you get the L mount to like an M mount close focus adapter such as the Seven Artisans one that I use, and you need that to be able to focus this lens. If, however, you shoot with like an M-mount cameras, whether it's film or digital, I only really recommend this lens if you shoot at things at, say, four to five meters to infinity away from you in good light. The reason I say that is if you shoot at infinity at f2.8, as long as you are shooting at infinity, then you can use f2.8. But in most situations, if you want something from, say, 5 meters to infinity in focus, you're going to need to use around f8 to f11. To use f8 to f11, you either need enough light or use a camera with a high enough ISO to allow you to shoot with that depth. This lens is not suitable for portraits. It's not suitable for close-up photography. It's probably not really suitable for street photography for most of you. 
maybe some of you shoot at a distance but i think when i think street photography i think kind of in your face maybe one meter two meters distance maximum for those kind of immersive street photos so i don't really think it's suitable for street photography so the only thing it's probably worth getting for for like m shooters is landscape photography if you shoot at more distant subjects i personally will use the lens on a like a cl film camera when i'm say cycling or running when i'd like to shoot a distant subject with a sharp contrasty lens so in terms of cost, if you're going to use this lens to its full potential, you need the close focus helicoid. The Seven Artisans close focus helicoid that I have is either £69 or $69. I can put a link to that in the description. You can get those on Amazon. If you want to buy the lens itself, I looked online in the UK. You can get it from Robert White for £359.50 at the time I'm making this video which is May 2021 and if you're in the US you can buy it from B&H for around $400. I guess one bit of exciting news I can now share with you if you live in the UK and you're buying any Voigtlander lenses if you go to the Robert White website and type in Mr Leica I can put it at the bottom of the screen I can also include a link below this video if you put the Mr Leica discount code when you get to the checkout you'll get 5% off your order. Now 5% doesn't sound a lot, but on this particular lens it works out as around £18-ish discount. But if you get, for example, a £1,000 Voigtlander lens, that's going to save you £50 from one lens. So highly recommend Mr Leica discount code if you're buying any Voigtlander lenses in the UK. Now if you're a Leica M shooter, what about alternative lenses? You could get something like the Voigtlander 40mm 1.4 Classic which I've already done a review of. You can get the amazing Voigtlander 40mm f1.2 lens, which I reviewed earlier this year. Or you could also get something like the Minolta 40mm f2 lens. If you enjoy the 40mm focal length, all three of those lenses could tick the box for you. And all three of those lenses are pretty fast. f1.4, f1.2 and f2. The 1.4 Classic and the Minolta are both very small lenses. So if you like small lenses, but you want full functionality on an M camera, I'd highly recommend checking out those, perhaps instead of the 2.8 Helia. And then if you want something super sharp, super fast, check out the Voigtlander 40mm f1.2 lens. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe below for more Voigtlander lens reviews. I have more lenses coming. I'm just in the process of testing a few more. And then maybe the next video, maybe the one after that, I'll be back with one of the new Voigtlander lenses and we can see what it can do. If you have any questions about this lens, feel free to drop me a message in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Lastly, as always, a big, big thank you to my patrons and back soon with another video. Bye.